join me down here on the floor of the greenhouse. Um, I am going to attempt to fix a grave mistake that I have made. You know when you're repotting plants and stuff and you're just reaching, just, I need a pot, grab a pot, you get one, you pot your plant up and stuff. And um, there's a reason why certain pots are for certain plants, right? There are. This right here, this is the reason why. Look at this beauty. So I was told one time that this was a Sansevieria beauty queen due to the really high white variegation. I mean, she's stunning. Um, but then someone else told me it wasn't. And so I imagine it's some type of hybrid and who knows what she is, but she's gorgeous. However, I made a mistake by putting her in the wrong pot. See this? It's all bad. I'm positive that I'm not gonna be able to get that back through this hole considering it has filled the entire hole up. So I'm gonna have to break this perfectly good clay pot <laughs> in order to get this beauty out. And I will probably also um, separate her, take my moss agate out. I keep moss agate in my plants. Um, yeah, so I'll probably ultimately end up separating her too, but fingers crossed, look, cross your fingers with me guys. Fingers crossed that I can get her out of this pot <laughs> without uh, without damaging the plant. We'll break the pot, screw the pot, save the plant, right? Right. So I have, look, I've got my little handy dandy hammer. It's a little baby hammer. It's the cutest thing ever, right? Let me if I can get this shit out of here. Okay, hold on. <sighs> I'm reaching for my tools. Ta-da! Chopstick. Stainless steel chopstick, no less. Oh. Okay. Move around these edges and stuff. Get her as loose as I can. Oh. Yep, okay. <laughs> She's all connected. All right. So here we go. I'm not even sure where I should try. I'm going to try and crack it right next to it. Hopefully... saved her <laughs> there she is um so yeah i'm probably get this broken clay pot out of the way now so i'm probably i'm gonna try and get as much of this stuff off of here but i'm thinking i'm gonna separate her humidifier just kicked on so it's gonna be a little louder so any of you who have not uh, separated Sansevieria before, or snake plants before. Um, this is a good lesson for you. I'm gonna show you. All right, so we actually have, oh, they are separate. They're just kind of rooted in together. The roots are tangled. Here we go, so I have two here. Um, I thought I had separated them once before, but you can see this long, hold on, I'll get closer. You see this long, bright orange piece there? This is where you're gonna cut to separate your pieces. Um, and you always wanna make sure, especially on these variegated plants, that they have this. Because generally, I think, this is where the variegation is produced. So um, a lot of times on variegated plants, if you do a leaf cutting, or, or if you don't get enough of the actual tuber in there, um, when, you, when you go to propagate, you'll end up losing the variegation and they'll revert back to whatever their natural um, state is. So I'm gonna go ahead and separate both of these because they're so wide from each other. Um, they're not gonna sit well in a pot. So I'm gonna go ahead and separate those now very carefully. I've got some shears, I've already cleaned them. Um, had them sitting here prepared. So I'm going to try and cut it just about half and half here. There's this little piece, these little rootsies, aren't they adorable? And then this is obviously an older piece. 
and you can see that it's been cut once here. Oh, maybe you can't see that shit. Let me get closer. It's been cut once here, cut once here, and then the fresh cut is here. This one, obviously, is the mama who just keeps growing. <laughs> All right, and then on this side, we've got the same situation. This one's got a lot more roots on the offshoot, which is great. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut right about center. See, all of those lovely roots. Now, you have two options here. Um, get some of these old roots off. I love that the, their roots are bright orange. Look at that, isn't that cute? Um, so you have a couple of options here when it comes to repotting. I personally repot immediately. Um, but lots of people will say that you should let this callus over um, for about 24 hours or so. It is a good idea. It's not, it, it isn't dumb. It's not pointless. Um, it is to help prevent infection and rot um, from getting into your plant. However, I've never done that. I haven't had any issues, so I'm gonna go with what I know. But if what you know is to let this sit out and callus for 24 hours, so be it, do it. Do what works for you. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do, I think I'm actually going to put my two large pieces in a pot together, and then I think I'm going to put these in individual pots on their own, maybe kind of want to put them all together just to have a big pretty plant. <laughs> um, this is also a really slow growing plant. So yeah. All right. So I've got, let's see, some little clay pots over here. Those two will fit nicely in that one. My go-to, um, I got some mix right here. It is literally just, um, a good mixture. Oh, I don't know if I can get that close. There we go. Um, it's just a mixture of cocoa core, um, biochar, lots and lots of perlite, a bit of worm castings, and of course, mycos because I put mycos in everything. It's like sriracha hot sauce. Put this shit on everything, right? <laughs> All right, so. I'm just gonna repot these two up. Do you see that? Like, have you seen? Did I get close enough? Look at that variegation on that. Isn't that gorgeous? And I mean, that is, it's bright white. It is not yellowy white. It is white, white. So pretty, I love it. Okay, so um, with snake plants, as with many other succulents, they don't want to be in giant pots. If you put them in a giant pot, you're definitely, definitely risking rot. It just, it is what it is. That's, that's what happens. So um, try to put them in a pot that is just big enough for their tubers and their little rootsies um, to fit into. And that's that. Don't put them in a big pot. I usually uh, tell people about an inch worth of space all the way around is plenty. Um, and that's for most plants, but especially for succulents. That's, I think, one of the number one killers of succulents is people want to put them in big pots. Um, I think it's a common misconception that if you put it in a big pot, it'll grow faster or something. It doesn't, and you will risk rotting it. So you got to pack this in really tight um, because these are so top heavy. When you're repotting these, you really got to make sure that you've got that packed in. And if your mix is um, rocky enough, well draining enough, enough perlite and such, um, you don't have to worry about packing it in tight and it, you know, um, getting or staying too wet. It won't. These are literally the only things I use perlite in. I do not like perlite at all. To me, it, it always floats up to the top when you water, especially in chunkier mixes. So that's why I don't use perlite at all in my erroid mixes. Um, if I have to use anything, um, I generally use um, pumice instead. And I'm fresh out of pumice. Shit's expensive too, it's hard to come by. Um, so anyways, there's this little beauty in her little pie. She's so pretty. All right, get over there, beauty queen. 
pain in my ass, just like all beauty queens. <laughs> all right, let's see. Oh, what do I got back here? Reach for these little pots. I think, so I don't have, I've got one little pot. Mother trucker. Hmm. All right, well, one of them ah, is gonna go in this little pot. Look how cute. So we'll put this one in there. thing put a little mix in put those in get in their little roots now when I'm repotting plants um, I usually put a little bit of uh, the mix in there the uh, medium and then I kind of jostle them around as I'm going to kind of help it work down in between the roots and stuff so that all your roots aren't just crammed down in the bottom and then you just pack all this stuff on top um, to kind of work the plant up and down a bit as you're doing it. Then it gets in between the roots and then the roots are layered into the soil or media, whatever, um, like they would be naturally. So crunch all of this stuff down in there real well. A little bit more. I'm gonna give this one this piece of agate right there to help her get going now moss agate um here i learned something right now moss agate if you didn't know um this is also called the gardener's stone and it is a stone to help promote growth and bountiful harvests and such so i use lots and lots lots and lots of moss agate in my greenhouse so there is that little beauty that she spiraled isn't that neat not really sure why some th this plant grows really weird too I'm imagining that it's um, something to do with the, the hybrid that it is because I mean one of the leaves is perfectly straight and it almost made me think of some type of variegated whale fin but it's not because it's only this wide and then 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 this one's twisty the other one's bendy it's just it's kind of a mess but they're super pretty all right so this one these little bitty pots behind me. I wonder if she will fit in that one. I'm gonna put her in the dink dink pot. <laughs> little dink pot, go oh well. And a little bit of mix in there. Get your little, she don't wanna put her roots in there. She's fighting me. them in there and stop playing we don't have time for this okay you're making me look bad I you just love it when you're trying to show somebody else something then it messes up and it's like you have no idea what the fuck you're doing I swear I do I do this all the time when you guys aren't looking as soon as you're looking I can't do it right sheesh story of my life right and there she is so the free pot was successful for everybody but the pot go figure all right so i've got a big whale fin i'm getting ready to bust up too but no need to break the pot see this dude here he just got messy i think this is a whale fin i'm not entirely sure because I know that there's another one that's very similar to a whale fin that is not a whale fin. So, who knows? See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>